Kildare Focus with Kira Noble. Yesterday morning it was announced that Bank of Ireland were fined a record 100.5 million euro. That is over the bank's treatment of customer customers in the trackage mortgage scandal. I'm joined now by General Secretary of the Financial Services Union. That is John O'Connell. You're very welcome to Kildare Focus this afternoon, John. Thank you very much, Kira. Delighted to be here. So uh, the Deputy Governor of the Central Bank um, said the fine was, in quotes, significant but necessary. Derville Rowland also called the bank's handling of the tracker mortgage reckless. How do we make sure nothing like this ever happens again? I think there's a number of things that, that have to happen, some that are underway. So, for instance, the government are putting in place uh, legislation, the Senior Executive Accountability Regime, which... Uh, will hold people accountable as opposed to institutions. So, so that's one very strong way because we know across the globe that finding institutions doesn't work. It doesn't have any impact. If you see the, the Bank of Ireland find, they actually have made provisions in their accounts for the for past 120 year. million. In, in, yes, for 120 million. Half, in relation. You know, I've heard from people saying they should have gone in and just taken the whole 120 um, on top of the 100.5. Well, they were actually fined 143 million and they get a discount then for uh, a technical agreement with the central bank. What? Uh, they get a discount for doing that? Of 30%. So the actual fine was 143 million. So the, so the other things that can happen uh, and that we are campaigning very strongly for is a change in the governance model of the banks. And what we mean by that is currently banks are driven solely to respond to shareholders. So it's about a return for the shareholders, dividends for the shareholders. And where we're saying now with just three banks left in this country, we need a stakeholder model. And what that means is that it can't be just driven for the benefit of shareholders. It has to take account of stakeholders. And we believe that uh, worker directors and indeed consumer directors should be on the boards of the banks. And I think if they were on boards of the banks prior to this, these issues wouldn't have happened. You know, out of the 50 prof- properties that uh, were taken, 25 of those were family homes. And it's it's really hard to wrap your head around the possibility of getting your family home taken away from you. Charlie Weston is writing today in the Irish Independent about one Kilkenny man, Tony Lawler, celebrating after the fine yesterday. He, uh, the bank was, uh, did deny him and 16,000 others good value tracker mortgages. He has been fighting Bank of Ireland for 12 years trying to get the tracker mortgage restored. Uh, He's a retired registered uh, paramedic. He claims he had a tracker for six years, but he alleges the bank changed his terms and conditions in 2010, forcing him to the more expensive variable rate mortgage. He claimed before the Oireachtas Finance Committee that the bank engaged in, in quotes, a reign of terror in moving him and other customers off tracker mortgages. He goes on to discuss the fact that he's still fighting the bank. He has had to stop paying his mortgage as the expense has been too much for him. He's 60 years old and he had to retire early from the HSC in 2014 after he had a heart attack when attending the scene of a multiple uh, vehicle crash in County Carlo. So obviously nobody can say, you know, the, the... health problems one has is is from um, not uh, being given the tracker mortgage that you may have wanted. But a stressful financial situation like that, John, is going to cost people their health. And it also means Ireland's health service is impacted, meaning everybody else in society are impacted. This is, you know, a, a cycle that will continue if it's not put a stop to. Correct. And, and you have to have empathy uh, with those affected by this scandal. Yeah, you just can't but be touched by a story like that and thousands of others, 40,000 families impacted in, in, in relation to it. And those people have a right to expect that people will be held to account, not just institutions, but those who made those, those decisions. Because when you read the Central Bank report, which I've gone through in, in, in some detail, uh, and it's the same for all the other institutions. So this isn't just a Bank of Ireland story. It's a, a, a broader than that. What banks did, uh, as outlined by the central bank in the report, to deny people their rights in terms of access to their tracker mortgages and reverting back to tracker mortgages and so forth, goes to the culture of those organizations that they think, as the 
central bank said it's okay to put the bank's uh, betterness or, or, or strength and, and profit and that ahead of their own customers. And, and that's the big thing that has to change. It takes time, uh, and, but it will require a rethink in terms of, of the model. And the model currently is everything is okay if we get a proper return for our shareholders, whereas we take a view that there's three banks left. They much, must take a societal view of what's good for society. Uh, and that's called stakeholder banking. It's common throughout Europe. Uh, but we believe the old governance model is seen to have failed now and, and requires that new vision in, in terms of... And very fortunately, Kira, the minister initiated a banking review which is due to report in November, and we have made very strong representations and presentations indeed to the Department of Finance to say that this is the way of the future, uh, that, that banks can no longer be left to govern themselves that there has to be input from consumers and there has to be input from staff. I just want to go back over some figures because I gave, the first figures I gave out were wrong. 327 people lost their properties and nearly 198 of those were family homes. And it's been noted, John, that this scandal is not over despite the fine. People, as you say, still suffering, you know, empathy is obviously needed. And the figures, they never tell the full story. They never tell the full story. And, and like, if it's only one person lost their, their home, that would be absolutely a scandal. The amount of people that have been impacted by this, uh, and as you say, it's ongoing for some people, uh, including the, the gentleman you refer to. So ev- everybody needs to think that there has to be a better way. So the the Sears legislation, that will help. The consumer code from the central bank to protect consumers is 10 years out of date. It refers to an era before neobanks like N26 and Revolut and so forth, before we had banking apps, before there was such wide-scale closure branches and so forth. John, I want to ask you a quick question before I have to go at three o'clock. I have a text in here from Elaine. She says, can you ask if it's too late to have your tracker checked? I have a tracker, but my bank has made quite a number of mistakes over the years on different things, which doesn't inspire confidence. How do I get a check, she asks. I think you you can uh, get assistance. There's a financial ombudsman that can uh, can assist in in terms of uh, providing advice. There's financial advisors as well. There's some very good financial advisors that will assist people in looking. First of all, do they have a case and and, and that? So I'd encourage them to get some professional advice. Uh, there are organisations, like I said, the financial ombudsman and and so forth, who can guide you through. Uh, assessing in the first instance if you have a case uh, for the bank to answer. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. That's John O'Connell. He's the General Secretary of the Financial Services Union about the Bank of Ireland being fined that record number, 100.5 million euro, getting a discount of 30%. Originally, the fine was 143 million euro. Um, And if anybody wants more information, of course, the advice from John and others is to get in touch with um, some of the experts in the area who can help you out, of course.